Check out this website. It's making over $80,000 per month with just one page. And in the next 20 minutes of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your own version using nothing but AI, even if you've never written a single line of code in your life. Now, I want you to meet a wheel of names. It's a simple one page website that gets over 16 million visits every month with at least a $5 RPM that translates to more than $80,000 in monthly passive income. And it's all generated through Google AdSense. There's no products to ship. There's no customer service headaches. It's just pure passive income from a website that does one thing really, really well. But here's what's even crazier. This entire concept can be replicated using AI tools and I'm about to prove it to you. Today, we're building our own viral one page website from scratch. We're gonna use AI to handle all the technical heavy lifting. We're going to connect Google AdSense for that passive income stream. We're going to integrate Stripe for premium features. And I'm gonna show you the exact strategy that can turn a simple idea into a five figure monthly income. And the best part, you don't need any, none coding experience at all, no technical background, or even any upfront investment. Just one AI tool and the blueprint I'm about to share with you in this video. So that by the end of this video, you're gonna have everything that you need to launch your own passive income website that could be generating revenue within days. So if you've ever wondered how these simple websites make so much money, or if you wanna build your own automated income stream, well, you're exactly in the right place. So let's go ahead and dive in. The AI tool that we're gonna to use today that will build the entire app for us is Base44. They're one of the best AI app builders right now, and I added a special link in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out too. The foundation of any successful app is getting the layout right from the start. Most people dive into features and then they forget that their users need to understand where everything is within seconds of landing on the page. And we're building something that needs to feel intuitive immediately. People should see the wheel, they should know where to add their options and understand how everything works without any unnecessary confusion. So I'm going to tell Base44 to build a single page app called spin wheel with the left panel for inputs and settings and a right panel for the spinning wheel canvas, plus a header and footer. And that's it. But first things first, important disclaimer, because building websites and making money online is not an easy thing to do, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So when I show you how to build a website, for example, I'm demonstrating the technical process and the potential, but I am not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools, they're legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, your timing, and honestly, a good chunk of luck. Most websites don't make money right away and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you're gonna get rich or that you quit your job. This is not financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. And then what you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right, so with those expectations set, let's continue to build the website as Base44 here delivers exactly what we need for our foundation. The app now has a clean, organized structure with the left panel handling all the user interactions where people can add their choices and tweak settings, while the right panel here showcases the main attraction, our spinning wheel canvas. The header gives us space for branding or a title and the footer keeps things professional with any necessary links or credits. However, we can also spot an issue here that does need our immediate attention. So let's send this follow-up to Base44 to fix it for us. Enlarge the wheel. While the wheel is spinning, it is difficult to see the choices. The button should also be hidden during the spin. Now prompting with this adjustment makes all the difference because now the wheel is properly sized and visible during its dramatic spin while the interface smartly hides all the buttons and controls during the spinning process. So there's no more accidental clicks disrupting that suspenseful moment when the wheel decides the outcome. 
User input is where the magic really does happen here. And this is what transforms a static wheel into something personal and useful for each visitor. Now, the goal here is making data entry as smooth and flexible as possible while giving our users helpful tools to manage their lists efficiently. Now, I want people to be able to throw in anything that they want from simple names to complex phrases even and have smart controls that make managing their entries effortless. So to accomplish that, let's tell Base44, add a multi-line text box for entries with no character limit, plus buttons for sample names, clear, shuffle, and deep dupe. Show entry counts and store everything in local storage. Doing this creates a dynamic entry system that gives users total freedom. People can now input names, they can input phrases, or even emojis with no character restrictions whatsoever. The supplementary controls here really does enhance the usability too, because users can insert sample data instantly to see how things work. They can clear their entire list with one click when starting fresh. They can shuffle entries to ensure fairness and also remove duplicates to keep their spins clean and organized. The live entry count will also help our users to track exactly how many items they've added, which is surprisingly useful when building out really long lists. But the real game changer here is the local storage integration, because all the user input now gets automatically saved, and then their lists persist even if they refresh the browser or close the tab completely accidentally. This feature supports both casual users who just want to make a quick decision and regular visitors too who return with the same lists, all without requiring any login or back-end complexity. Customization is what turns a generic spinning wheel into something that feels uniquely yours. And most people don't just want functionality only. No, they want their wheel to match their style, their brand, or the specific vibe of whatever event they're planning. So we're about to give our users complete creative control over every visual element, because when something looks exactly how you want it, you're more likely to share it and then keep coming back too. So I'm gonna ask Base44 to add controls to customize segment colors, center image, label font and style, border thickness, and pointer design. Apply changes instantly. And with that, the customization panel now gives our users complete visual control over the wheel's appearance. Every single visual component becomes editable, from the font style to the segment colors. Our users can now apply custom color palettes. They can modify each segment's individual color and fine tune the text labels with font options, sizing sliders, and bold or outline toggles. The additional customization options cover the pointer as well that indicates the winning entry and the border surrounding the wheel. Now, these design controls let users create wheels that look polished and perfectly tailored to their specific context, whether they're planning a casual game night or organizing a professional team building event. The instant application of changes means that users can experiment freely and see their creative vision come to life in real time without any delays or loading screens. Sound transforms a spinning wheel from a simple visual tool into an experience that builds genuine suspense. Now think about it, those clicking sounds as the wheel spins, the dramatic pause, before it stops. That satisfying audio cue when a winner is chosen. Now these audio elements are what make people gather around to watch instead of just, you know, glancing at the result once in a while. So we're going to give users complete control over how their wheel sounds and feels. So here's what I'm going to tell Base44 to make all that happen. Add audio and timing settings with sound upload and select for spin and win events volume and mute controls and adjustable duration, acceleration, and spin count. Respect browser audio policies. Adding in this prompt introduces comprehensive sound and timing customization that really elevates the experience here, because now our users can upload their own sounds or choose from built-in options to play during the spinning animation, and of course, when a winner gets selected. And here we're talking about ticking effects, applause, bells, celebratory audio clips, whatever fits their specific use case. 
Now the volume slider here and the global mute toggle gives our users complete control over playback loudness, while the timing adjustments let them really fine tune the entire experience. They can also control spin duration, the acceleration phase, the deceleration speed, and the total spin count. Basically, how many full rotations happen before landing. Now, these settings help our users make their wheel feel suspenseful for those dramatic moments or fast-paced for quick decisions. The system also handles browser audio policies properly by ensuring sound only plays after the first user interaction, which prevents those frustrating silent failures that can break the whole experience. It's these little technical details that ensure our app works reliably across all browsers and devices. Now, the moment the wheel stops spinning is arguably the most important part of the entire experience. And this is when anticipation turns into celebration, when someone finally gets picked, when decisions get made. Okay, so we need to make this moment feel special and meaningful, not just display a boring result. Plus, for many use cases like giveaways or classroom activities, our users need to track who's been selected and ensure fairness over multiple spins. So to make all of that happen, this is what we're gonna ask Base44. After a spin, show a customizable message like congrats, entry, and keep a winner history with an option to remove winners from future spins. So doing this creates exactly the kind of polished experience that will keep users engaged. Because after the wheel stops, a message, banner, or a modal now appears with a completely customizable string that includes dynamic variables like the winning entrance name. Our users can personalize these messages to fit their specific tone or use case for celebrations and giveaways. The winner history feature here also adds a serious practical value by maintaining a running log of past results. Now this becomes incredibly useful for events, contests, or classroom settings where we need to track selections over time. Also, our users can choose to automatically remove winners from the pool after they've been selected, and doing this prevents duplicate picks and ensuring fairness during one-time draws or eliminations. It's these small, thoughtful features that transform a simple spinner into a tool that people actually want to use for real situations. Okay, so at this point, we need to talk about the business side because building a great app is only really half the equation. The difference between a hobby project and a real income stream comes down to monetization strategy. So we're going to implement the exact same model that's making Wheel of Names over $80,000 per month. We're gonna offer solid free features that hook our users. Then we're gonna provide premium upgrades that serious users gladly pay for. So let's tell Base44 to integrate Stripe Checkout with a GoPro button that unlocks saving and loading wheels, custom themes, image batch import, and ad removal show pro status and billing info using test mode. And with that prompt, the premium functionality that gets implemented is perfectly targeted because now the GoPro option unlocks genuinely advanced tools through Stripe subscription. And that means our users can save and load multiple wheel configurations instead of having to recreate them every time. They can also apply exclusive themes or brand colors for professional presentations, bulk upload entries and images instead of typing everything out all manually, and of course, remove ads for that clean, distraction-free interface. Along with that, billing integration handles everything professionally. It displays current plan status, it shows next renewal dates, and it also provides direct access to manage subscriptions through Stripe's customer portal. The test mode setup here also makes it easy to simulate the entire checkout process so that we can demo exactly how the payment flow works without processing real transactions. Not yet. And this creates a complete revenue system that can start generating income the moment we switch from test mode to live payments.
And there you have it, a one-page spin wheel site built entirely with AI. No coding, no complicated setup, just smart prompts, and as you've seen, good results. Now, what's powerful about this isn't just the app itself, but how simple the process is. Now, if a site like Wheel of Names can pull in over $80,000 a month, imagine what can happen when you apply the same idea to your own niche too. Now, the tool making all of this possible is Base44. As you've seen, you describe what you want and it turns it into a working app, complete with layout, functionality, and room to grow. I've left a link in the description so you can go ahead and try it out for yourself and so you can start experimenting with your own projects because this is only the beginning. In the next few videos, I'll be showing you many more profitable app ideas and of course, how to build them step-by-step -step with AI. So please don't forget to like, to subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you wanna see just how far you can take it. Thanks for spending your time with me today and I'll see you at the next one.